Hello, welcome to today's edition of the Technology Assist video. Today we are covering the Mayo 67 by Mac with integration over EtherCAT to the Omron SysMac Studio platform of machine automation controllers. In today's example, we're going to be connected to an NX1P. Set the proper versions. Create a project. And what we have from our hardware layout is a Mac manifold with an input block as well as a comms driver for EtherCAT connected to an NX1P PLC. And we are first going to set our controller's IP address, do a system check to make sure we can communicate with it. We can. And the first thing I'm going to go is go to my EtherCAT tree here. And since I've already installed the ESI file, I can click and then drag this node over to my tree. If I don't have the icon for a Mac pneumatic valve communications device, I want to first go to master, right click, go to display ESI library, and then I would download the ESI file from Mac's website or your local distributor and paste the file into this folder here. I paste it in here and I restart SysMac Studio and I should have access to this device. Now by default, it's going to be called EtherCAT001. I'm gonna name this whatever name I'd like. And out of the box, the communications driver has a slave address of zero. I can write whatever node address I'd like to it. And then I can go online. And I could right click and do write slave node address. This is how you can set up a unique address for multiple manifolds. Please note that once you write a slave address, you have to do a power cycle. Now my manifold here has a input block attached to it, so I want to make sure it's properly configured. I go to Edit Module Configuration, and this is my dictionary of items I can add. I first want to go from left to right, make sure I'm offline first, add my digital I.O. block, followed by my valve driver, and because my I.O. block can be inputs or outputs, I want to enable both. Hit apply and OK. Then I go back to my EtherCAT and I confirm that what I have in my project matches what I have here. I do. Now I'm going to go back offline. And I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping first. I'm going to make two unions. And unions is just one strategy within Omron to get bit level addressing in my program. So I'm going to make a union for my manifold with two members. The first member being an array of bools. So we want to make that 16. And the second one, second one a word. I'm going to create a second union with a similar layout. I then go to my IO map. Expand my Myo 67 here. And the first block of data, the first word of data, is a device control. I don't need to do anything there. Here's where I'm going to assign it a global variable. 
and I'm going to call it manifold one. The second one for my sensor block is going to be my input read words. That's going to be my sensor block. These get automatically created as global variables. By default, they will be sensor block one. By default, they will take on the data type that is defined in the Ethercat tree. But I can also rename this to the unions I used. This will allow me access to them by the bit level inside my programming. I now go to my program and I can create some logic. Let's say I wanted to fire the first solenoid in my bank. I address the variable properly. Let's say I want another rung of logic to look at inputs that are tied to my input block. So when that input's on, I want to fire the third solenoid and alternate that with the fourth solenoid. I'll invert that logic. If everything goes well, I'm going to go online, transfer this to the controller, execute the transfer. Changes to run mode. And I see that I have no errors. I also can take a look at my comms module on my manifold, and I see I have a solid comms light. This means I'm communicating. So now I can toggle this bit, turn on a valve, hear that clicking. And I can also use my sensor to toggle valves here. That's all. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day.